Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReviewed.com. Dun dun dun. Today we have The Streets by John Archer. A book test using maps! Exclamation point. I gave this thing 4.5 stars with the stone status of gem. Let me show you what you get. Basically, you get two books. This is a uh, Boston street guide and you get uh, a London street guide. So the basic premise is these are uh, books you picked up in your travels when you traveled to Boston or London or whatever. And they, you know, the front part of these are just maps. This is the London one. And the back is the index, the map index. Boston one looks exactly the same. There are multiple effects you can do with that. Um, the books are very, very gimmicked. But as you saw when I flipped through it, there was really nothing to see. Um, but I will tell you this, that one of the effects you can do is literally, literally stop at any page uh, and have them look at this top word here. And you can divine what that word is. And they are all different if you look through it. So, And there's nothing else. You just need the book to do that one. Another one, you can have them open to any page in any map and think of any street that they find on any page. And again, you can divine what that street is. Uh, you can also use um, the... I, some of these effects only work in one book or the other. And I, to be honest, I don't remember the details on that. So I may misspeak and say that something could be done with this book when it really can only be done with the other book. I can't remember. But um, one of the ones that actually I think it is the London book. Um, yeah, so at the top of the London book, they have the, the London boroughs or the areas of London, and they have the, the um, name of it right there. So one of those you could do is sort of like uh, a tossed out deck kind of a thing where you hand the book out to members of the audience. You have them crack it open and look at one of those and then give it to somebody else and look at one. Uh, and you can have four or five people do that and you can divine which ones they're thinking of. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, great effects you can do if you're uh, into the mentalism thing. Uh, you also get this instruction booklet, which is 43 pages. The last page is right there, 43. Not like the ad copy says, which says 50 for whatever reason. And also you get these little crib sheets here. Now these, what's cool about these is they're stickers. So you can stick them somewhere. Uh, John Archer has a really excellent recommendation where to put them. Uh, that sounded funny. Uh, he'll, he'll tell you where to stick them. Anyway, uh, you get two. Uh, you get two sets of the crib sheets. Um, so very cool stuff. All of that is great if you're into that kind of effect. That's actually the kind of stuff I do perform. This is something I could see myself performing because it's a, um, a tour guide book. There's a lot of potential presentational angles uh, for you know remote viewing or for your when you're traveling um, and all kinds of different other things. I recommend several ideas in the in the um, booklet. You also get a downloadable video of John Archer explaining basically everything in the book. If you've read the book, you don't really need to watch the video. Uh, it's about 35 minutes, but at the end of the video, you do get to see his uh, presentation, his performance of it. So that's pretty cool. This whole thing now is 120 bucks. That's not cheap. Um, but you look at Mother of All Book Tests. It's it's a 300 to 350 dollar book, and I know tons of pros that have multiple copies of it. Uh, and they, you don't even really get much of an instruction set there. Just a small little bit of instruction. No video, nothing like that. And then people are paying several hundred bucks for that. I own one myself. I bought one with my own money. I didn't even get it for review. I bought it, and I use it. Uh, I used to close my show with it. I've changed now to a Larry Becker dictionary effect that I close my show with. Um, John Archer said he closes the show with this one all the time, uh, or, or used to anyway. So anyway, that's the short version of it. It's it's very well made props. I've got no complaints about any of that. The, everything is very, very good quality. And it's John Archer. John Archer's a funny guy. Um, so bottom line, if you think you would use this, I highly recommend it. Uh, the method is dead simple. None of the methods are really new. Um, they're just sort of typical methods you might find in a book test. 
uh, and uh, John gives really does a really good job giving giving credit where credit's due for that kind of stuff. So these aren't new, you know, untested methods or anything. These are methods that have stood the test of time. Some of these methods go way, way back. Uh, so bottom line, if you're a mentalism person um, rather than a, a coin manip guy, coin manip guys, you're probably not going to use this effect. As I say in most of my reviews, if you didn't like the effect and you didn't think it's something you'd be interested in, why are you watching this review, right? You're watching this review because you like the effect and you're thinking, hey, I wonder if it's as good as they claim. It is. Definitely. So get it. Five star, or sorry, four and a half stars for this effect right here. The Streets by John freaking Archer. All right. And uh, one last little note. It was published by The Vanishing, or Vanishing Inc., which all their stuff is good quality as far as you know, how well it's produced and everything. So that's it. Let's go to the random iTunes song of the moment as you see my face glow from my laptop. And we have today... <laughs> okay, don't laugh. <laughs> um, you might recognize this if you're an old 80s headbanger. You're thinking, hey, I know those lyrics, but that is not... Brett Michaels. No, that is Miley Cyrus doing a cover of Poison's Every Rose Has Its Thorn. And I'm a huge Poison fan. I love the 80s hair metal bands. Um, I'm not so much a fan of Miley Cyrus these days. Well, she's lost her mind. But I hope she gets the help she needs, really. I'm not trying to be rude. I feel bad for her. All those uh, the Disney rock, uh, teenage stars, they end up doing, all of them end up in the same path. So, Miley, I hope you get the help you need. Seriously. I mean, uh, anyway, I love this version of that song. Uh, Every Rose Has Its Thorn by Miley Cyrus. It's an excellent, excellent version of the song. So, there you have it, folks. That's it for this edition of MagicReviewed.com. Um, P.S. Uh, my book is out, 793.8. It's done. That was my excuse for not posting videos for a long time. My next excuse that I'm going to give you was that I had to build, rebuild my uh, StoneColdMagic.com website. So now I should be back on track to be doing more reviews more frequently. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace over and out. <laughs>